All right, here we go. Got our recording started here. It is March 2nd. So I've got some stuff to, to cover, go through, and then as always, we'll always be open for questions. I do have something I want to share with you guys. Uh, last Sunday, I was driving home and it was early in the morning and I was listening to uh, Jack FM radio. And usually it's cool music that I like, but it was an infomercial that was on there selling health supplements. And first I was a little irritated, but then I thought I was listening to it and I'm like, oh my God, the marketing here is incredible. The marketing message, it was almost like you could have taken that script, put it into a webinar format and probably sold a boatload of product. And the thing that I thought was really great, really great, especially for this call, was they did it without any compliance issues. They were selling a health-related product, and they were getting around, they're perfectly getting around all the claims and all the stuff that would get you in trouble in the health market. And I know we have talked about that recently, and I thought that would be like a perfect example to give you guys. So I, I don't know if we want to play it. It's like a 30-minute infomercial. And if you guys want, I can play it through and stop it and like show you what they're doing in each piece because they've really done a good job. And almost every sentence out of the guy's mouth matches up with the ACT program in one way or another. It's like, it's a perfect example of almost everything that I have talked to you guys about. <laughs> so, including grabbing attention, overcoming objections, creating demand and desire. I mean, it's the whole enchilada in 30 minutes. It's pretty cool. And especially for anybody that is in health or finance or, or really in anything, if you're selling anything online, there's compliance issues that need to be dealt with. And it goes everything from the FTC to the FDA to, you know, and it's different in, in finance as well. Everybody has these organizations that are all out to get you, including and with another one we talked about recently was the ADA, American Disabilities Act. You know, it's like, as a business owner, there's so many people out there that have pins and they want to pop our balloon <laughs> with all this ridiculous stuff. And, you know, in a lot of cases, stuff doesn't make sense. It's crazy, but it exists. And it's something that as business owners, we have to understand and protect ourselves. You know, if you're, if you're online and you're doing business there there's things that you have to comply with like if you're using testimonials you should have a testimonials disclosure on your site you know legally you have to do that um if you're paying people if you're paying affiliates or you're you're recommending links you need to have a disclosure statement on your site that says that you know, if you're giving people or if you're referring people and you're getting paid for it, you have to publicly display that. You have to you have to put that out. Otherwise, you could get in legal trouble for that. So there's a lot of stuff, you know, people don't think about when they jump into business, but it's things that could come around and bite you and some of them in a, in a pretty big way. Like the, the newest thing here in the last year or two has been law firms that are going after small businesses that are not ADA compliant. And, you know, it's unscrupulous practice, in my opinion, but they, they are right. These rules are in place and most people are not following them. So these, you know, these legal law firms are taking advantage of that and putting lawsuits together against small companies that are not ADA compliant. So it's a, it's a pain in the butt, but 
again, as a business owner, it's something that you should be aware of. Now, if you're just getting started out and you're really small and you're not really doing much, you know, it's kind of a fine line of whether you spend money to protect yourself because you're not really doing enough, you know, to be in, in harm's way yet. It's, it's a fine line of when you need that stuff. So I don't, I don't say this to scare you guys and think you have to run out right now and, and get all this stuff. But if you do start doing business online and you start making money and you, you, know, you start making some waves, this is stuff that you should definitely take under advisement and get in place. So <clears throat> I'll kind of go through and, and cover that stuff. Um, I've got a website review that I want to do, and I see Gary, you've got your hand up. So let's let's take you first. Hi, John. I know that you don't look at the chat, so I just wanted to share with you that with my vote, you've got five votes that say yes. We'd like to hear that thirty minute and hear your review on it. Okay, cool. So we will do that. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So. Let me do the, the website review first, because that won't take long. And then if anybody has, you know, any questions, we'll address those and then we'll we'll bring it up and we'll play it. And what I'll do, I won't just let it play all the way through. When there's certain stuff, I'll stop it and kind of point out for you what they're doing and why it's important. So you get the most out of it. And if there's anybody on here that is like really good at taking notes, it, if you want to do that while I'm doing this and take the notes of, of what we cover, what I'll do is I'll post it up to the group. I'll post the video link so you can watch it again and the notes that point out what's important in the video. So that would be really cool if, if anybody wants to volunteer for that. That would be awesome. <laughs> so that would that would be cool. So let me. Let me do the screen share first. Let me find the website I'm going to review here. Okay, found it. Hopefully Zoom doesn't kick me out like they've been doing, but I'm going to share the screen. If I magically disappear, I'll be right back. Uh, Jim, did you have something before we start? Yes, um, on the bottom, there's an option to show captions. And it can be recorded and transcribed there. And then you click on view full transcript and we might be able to get the notes that way. Oh, okay. So I will click on captions. We'll do it in English and we'll see what happens. So Jay, you have something before we kick off? Yeah, if I could uh, really quick, uh, at, at some point, doesn't have to be before we kick off. I had a couple of questions regarding Kartra. I don't know if you got my email, but. Oh, okay. I actually haven't looked at email yet today. Oh, okay. So. I, I, I sent you an email with three questions regarding Kartra, if, uh, if that would make it quicker. Or we okay. could just do it live. No, we can do it live. What, what right. do you got? Uh, I have to go to my email and remember what I sent you. <laughs> 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 so we're um <laughs> sorry that will save me from going to your email and say what you sent me <laughs> see I, I i couldn't resist um we're looking at, at integrating uh another uh entity another um, institute into our uh, in our cartra okay there's a there's a guy behind you climbing up a ladder yeah That's awesome. <laughs> down on the boat they're re-varnishing all my woodwork so there's, there's a whole that's awesome out there. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome um first first quick question is how do we import uh and segment an email list from a different source into Kartra okay in the, when you go into the when you do the the um what is it? it's in the communications tab and it's where you have your, let me see what they call it. It's not prospects. I'll get, get you the exact terminology. It's leads. leads so you, okay. you go under the leads tab. That's under communications. Okay. When you click on the plus button to add a new lead, it will give you the option of adding a new lead or importing a batch of leads. 
Uh, okay, I knew it was in there, but I didn't remember where it was. Yeah, so that's how you import them. But I'm going to warn you, just like I've warned everyone else that has attempted this, you can do it. You can import your leads. But Kartra warns you that if you import leads that are considered spam in any way, shape, or form, they'll they'll ban your Kartra mail account. Oh. Your Kartra account's fine, but you just won't be able to use it to mail. Which wow, is that's a big deal. It's a pain in the butt. It's so not the it, end. So how would one get around that? What I would do and what I do in, in this case is I don't use Kartra Mail to email those lists. I get another email platform, like you can use Mailgun, um, you can use SendGrid, which I use SendGrid. You sign up for a SendGrid account, which is really cheap. Okay. You integrate that into your Kartra integrations, and then you use that to send the mail to that list. Uh -huh. So when you when you go under integrations, you'll see that there's different mail platforms that you can integrate. It works just like Kartra. It's just exactly like Kartra mail. There's no difference in how you use it in Kartra. It's just the gateway that the mail goes across is SendGrid versus Kartra. Because okay. if Kartra gets any complaints, or let's say you have a high bounce rate, a lot of the emails might be bad. There goes your Kartra account. Okay, have, not worth it. I'm glad you warned me of that. Yeah, they have literally <laughs> zero tolerance. Wow. And, okay. And, uh, and it's a, one of those things, it sounds like you can't get it back once that happens. Yeah. No, you're Ooh. using the same grid then from there on out, <laughs> right. which is that's okay. Good. I'm, it, it's okay. It's not like the end of the world, but it's something yeah. you don't need to experience. I agree. I agree. But, okay, cool. It's, it's like driving next to a semi truck on the freeway. Nothing good is going to happen. There. <laughs> <laughs> so many bad things could happen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that's, that's good. I, I appreciate that. Um, next question is, uh, is it possible or uh, how do we, where is it that you go in your contacts to check the, uh, the metrics, the open rates, the click through rates uh, for your different campaigns? That's going to be under broadcasts. Broadcasts. So you're in the communication tab and then click on broadcasts. That's where you send email out with broadcasts. And that's okay. where it's not going to have any analytics until you send, I think, 10 different emails out. Per you campaign or? 10 different email blasts. Okay. That gives, that gives it enough data that it can then tell you, like it'll tell you when your your best time for open rates is. Okay. <clears throat> like it might say, you know, your best time is weekends after five. That's when the most opens come. <clears throat> okay. Is that uh, 10, 10 blasts entirely or 10 blasts per like campaign? No, no, on, on entirety. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So shit, that should be in there. All right. It's across um, the whole campaign. Okay. <clears throat> and then the last, the last thing is, uh, is it possible to get two or more logos in one account? Uh, yes. There's, there's, okay. only, there's only one default logo, but anywhere where it allows you to put a logo, you can edit the logo and make a unique logo there. Oh. So it's not the, the master logo, but inside each... Yeah, project. every every place where a logo would show up, it gives you the option to edit it. Okay. That was easy. So like if you're on a membership site and you have multiple memberships, you can have multiple logos. Okay, cool. Yeah, same thing with products and checkout pages and basically anything. Any any <clears throat> card draft set that's gonna put an image in by default, it gives mm -hmm. you the option to edit. Okay, you just have, you just making it manual is just a little less convenient. Correct. Okay. All right. I think we can live with that. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, I think that's all there was. Okay. Cool. I, I appreciate you uh, taking care of that for me. No problem, Rashid. Yeah, uh, kind of similar to what Jay had. If we have a list 
and we emailed them saying, hey, uh, we're doing something different. Uh, this is what we're doing. If you're interested, sign up. Can we That's get that over to Kartra and then use that without any problem? If you want to do it inside Kartra's compliance, you create a Kartra opt-in box. And then you send your mail out to your generic list using something other than Kartra. You give them the link to the page, the landing page with the Kartra opt-in box. Mm -hmm. Once they use the Kartra opt-in box, Kartra doesn't have any problem with it. Okay, so right now the list is on MailChimp. Using MailChimp, we send them saying that we're starting a new product. Sign up here to get information about it when we launch it. Correct. And then they then we put them onto Kartra landing page. They sign up over there to get notified when the new product is being launched. Yes. And that, then that becomes a genuine Kartra mail list. Yep. Exactly. That's what they like to see. And could that be on a outside website? Carter, yes. Carter? Okay. It, it could be on your WordPress site. You just it just has to go through a Kartra form and they, uh, you know, they sign up and they they're in the Kartra system now. Okay. Cool. Now here here's a little secret that Kartra won't tell you, but you can set that page up on your own and then you can go and enter their information and enter them into your list and now they've technically opted in through Kartra's form uh -huh. so if you've got you know a handful of clients and you know they're good and you want to add them in that's how you can do that okay um be hidden under the radar right if you have a list and it's say it's missing a phone number can you add it yes no problem there how would you do that so you you go into your leads in kartra you uh -huh. run a search for the person that you want to update uh -huh. you click to edit their record and you can edit it right there so you click on their name and it will give you the option to edit their record and then you can add the phone number as soon as, in fact, as soon as you click on their name, it will open up their record and it's editable right there. And then all you have to do is just click save before you leave it. And it'll save all the okay. okay, okay, cool. Thank you, Piece sir. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Absolutely. All right, Randy. Mr. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, how you doing? I'm <laughs> good. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm sitting in the bike overlooking the ocean at San Onofre <laughs> State Beach waiting for my wife to finish her training ride, her bike ride. Um, <laughs> I have a quick question. When you know, when you see the photos and, and all these really cool visuals on Instagram and Facebook and so forth, um, I know a lot of people create stuff in Canvas, right? Yes, Canva. Um, Canva. But can if like if you don't have time to learn all that and do all that, can you take some of the visuals that you actually have uploaded, let's say in a landing page on Kartra? Is there a way of taking that visual, even a part of that visual, and putting it and being able to extract it out of there and use it in ads and other things like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, if you've got a screen capture program. Like I mm -hmm. use, I think the one I use is called Screencast. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can basically do a screen capture and then you can crop the image down to just the piece that you want and you can just save it as a JPEG. And that, that will give you, you know, graphics based on anything that's visible on your screen. Okay. So All that, right. That and, it's called, and it's called and it's called screen I screen think capture. It's called yeah, I think it's called screen capture or screencast. Um, it's a it's an actual program. And you can do this your own without any program. I think if you hold the control key, this is on IBM. You can hold okay. the control key and then hit the print screen button at the very top of your keyboard. 
Okay. And that, will, that will capture a screenshot. It just doesn't have any editing capability. So you got it. We'd have to get to another program and edit it down. Okay. But All if, right. But if you get if you get a screen capture software, it has the editing built right in. You just drag what you want. It makes it super easy. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Helene. Yes, uh, John, a long, long time ago, you were talking about Amazon reviews and how we could sort of play around with that. And you gave the name of a program, and I don't remember the name of that program. Do you, uh, do you remember it? Reviews. No, I don't remember offhand what that would have been. Okay, well, and the other thing is, um, I signed up to Marketing Blocks, and I'm not using it at all. How do I get out of Marketing Blocks? It seems they just don't let you. Um, you can contact their support. Their support is uh, is very responsive. Uh, is that a phone number? Because I looked for support and and didn't get. I I just got a a, a chat. It should be on their website. They should have, I don't know if it's a phone number, but it's a, a form. I think there's an email form that you can get, or you can use their chat too. If you've got somebody live on their chat support, that they should be able to help you with that. There appears to be nobody on their chat. I mean, that I found anyway. So uh, look, look but, for the support form and see if you can get it through that way. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, the other thing you can do too, I believe they sell that through JVZoo. You can go back to your JVZoo account where you purchased it from, and ah. they'll, they will always have the contact support for the vendors on there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sorry, I don't remember the, the program you're referring to as far as Amazon reviews. I, the only thing I could think of might have been Google My Business because they have a section in there where you can do reviews, you can offer reviews. Uh, or was it Sotellus? Sotellus is a, a review company. Yeah. Okay. And I believe they do broadcast the reviews to Amazon. Ah, okay. But if you have reviews and you wanna put them onto your website, you can go in and you can use the screencast or screen capture and you oh. can just take screenshots of those turn them into images and put them on your website if, oh, if that's okay. what you're trying to do so a lot of different ways to to do reviews and there's a ton of review software out there that'll help you get reviews okay thank you very much john all right my pleasure all right rashid do you still have your hand up was that a new one yes. or did uh, it's a new one because I went to I went to apply what you told me, and it does not seem to have. Uh, I couldn't find that option. Can I share my screen with you? Okay, sure. What was it that you were looking for? What didn't work? Okay, this is the guy. I want to add a phone number to his okay. profile. Scroll up to the top and you have to check a button to show hidden fields or show empty. See where it says hide empty? Uh, where, where, the where? Blue, where? The blue uh, slider. Oh, this here. Okay. okay. Yep. Get that. Okay. And it'll, open, it'll open up all the stuff that's not filled out. Okay. Um, okay. Phone phone Last name. I don't see phone, 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 phone. You just passed it. Oh, I did? Yeah. Right there, the bottom of the screen. Bottom ah, of the screen. select phone number, phone number, select. Okay, enter, got it. Okay, super. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, sir. If, if they didn't fill the field out, it automatically hides it so you don't have a bunch of empty stuff. Yeah, because originally on my uh, uh, form, I did not require them to put the phone number in. And then I yeah. try to send send all of them a text, and there's nobody's got a phone number. I yeah. have everybody's phone number, but it's not on the forum. <laughs> yeah, so it was there. It was just hidden. You just have to unhide it. it. Okay, thank you. All right, you got it.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and do a website review here. So let me pull that up. And this is for a pizza company, POS. So that's point of sale system. That's what the that's what the company does. And we're just going to go through here. I was asked to do this. I don't remember who it was from or if you're on here, but if you are, you feel free to hop out and say hello. <laughs> hello, John. Hello, friends. Oh, there you are, Nova. That's Nova. right. <laughs> yes, right. thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Sure, absolutely. So the first thing that I noticed is when you pull up the site without www, like you sent me the, the URL of mypizzapos.com. When you go to the site, to that site, it it's forwarding now, but before it wasn't forwarding. So it wouldn't work without the www. So I don't know if maybe your web team fixed that or not, but that was the first thing I noticed. And it looks like that is fixed at this point. Let me just try it again here. Yeah, it looks like it's, it looks like they fixed it. So, so anybody that's, if you look at your website, it should go to the page, whether you put in www or not. So that was, that has been fixed apparently. And let's see, the second thing up here, when I roll over the, the tab, it just says My Pizza POS. That's your title. That's the most important piece of this page. Any web page should have uh, titles in it. The title is like for the search engines to figure out what's what this page is all about. So. This just has basically the name of the site. So you want to make a descriptive title, make sure that you've got your descriptions in there, all that stuff. That's in the coding of the site. If it doesn't look like this is a WordPress site. It's, it's, it's not. Okay. So it didn't look like it. What site builder are you using or is it just HTML? Um, I'm using, I think it's called High Speed Pros. Okay. It's okay. So inside their program, there's probably a spot where you can edit your titles and your descriptions and stuff. And you want to make sure that you do that for the search engines. So beyond that, let's see. The color looks good. The fonts are readable they're fancy but readable so that's good but up here at the top so let's start off at the top you've got two pizza pos systems in three days my question for you is is the person that you're interested in selling this to are they going to know what that means Is I it, believe the answer is is yes. Because um, I know I'm I'm not the best person to ask because I'm not familiar with this. I, I know what a POS is and I know I know what it you know what it is. But as far as like your prospect, is this something that they're thinking that they is important to them? Like are they sitting up at, at late at night thinking, wow, if I only had a two pizza POS system in three days, life would be grand. I well, doubt that's what they're thinking. Okay. It's so, like jargon. <laughs> yeah. It's like jargon. It's, it's too hard to understand. Yeah. So, so here, what's the significance of two? Are they getting two of them? Um, I, well, I got the input from my boss. Um, he said um, when he was running ads, he would get more response if he said uh, two pizza, uh, two POS systems as opposed to one. Okay. So they're literally like, they're getting buy one, get one free? No, 
it's not a buy one get one no um is what the, the the concept is to not just attract the small mom and pop that just needs one station but that they need multiple stations because i think when i was going through your program you were saying who's your ideal client well my ideal client will want more than just one uh system so that's why i, I had put two does, okay. does that make so so i so, would so. i would change that i would make that a little different i would i would say as many as you want and as oh. little as it is great Thank you. that way it's it's very clear it's it's telling them okay this is for a multiple station unit mm. that would that would i think would be a better message but more to the point of what you should really be doing is you should be digging into the benefits because right here what you're talking about is you're talking about the thing mm -hmm. you're, you're talking about uh features rather than benefits and nobody really buys things for features they buy them for benefits they might look at the features and decide which one they're going to buy based on the features but they're going to buy the system based on the benefits so you need to focus in on what does this actually do for them and, and key in on that that's going to be the most important thing for anybody that's purchasing any product you know, it doesn't matter if you're selling pizza POS systems or you're selling gumballs. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's the thing that's going to get them to buy it is the benefit of what it's going to do for them. you the got that on the bottom line. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, John. Hey, John. Again, it does. Again, hold on, guys. Hold on. I know you all want to throw two cents in, but let me, let me like hit this. Those are still reliable. You need to really like tie that to what is important about that. The affordable, you're still talking about features. Feature, affordability is a feature. It's, it's what it is. Like saving money, that's a benefit. Affordable mm. is a feature. Saving money is a benefit. It's it, what you can, it's real easy to, to decide if this is a feature or a benefit. A feature is what it is. Like it is affordable. That's that's a feature. A benefit is what it does. It's going to save you money. That's what it does. So benefits are 10 times more powerful than features in, in all cases. So you really need to kind of spend some time digging into the analysis piece, figuring out who is your who's your ideal customer and what do they want? Why do they want it? And why they want it is always going to be what it does for them, not what it is. Always going to be the case when you're talking about what it is, that's going to they're going to say, yeah, OK, I know what I want, but that's not going to get them to buy it. When you talk about the benefits, that's what it does for them. That's what's going to get them excited and get them to create demand and desire to actually purchase the product. The other thing about this is a big idea. When you get into the big idea, this is going to be in the creation portion of ACT. The big ideas are all based on what they want, why they want it. It's all going to be based on that analysis piece. So big idea is what's going to grab their attention because above the fold in your website if you don't grab their attention here they're they're not going to do this and they're not going to scroll right if they don't scroll they're probably not going to buy because they're going to hit the back button your imagery above the fold your image is just as important as your headline here or your big idea the image has to show like what i'm seeing here is i'm seeing the back of a computer screen and i'm seeing the back of another electronic device it doesn't tell me it's a pos system it's it's very nondescript and it's in a very chaotic background like all the stuff out of focus there's a lot of stuff going on here and it's distracting you know, this image could be cropped right just above her head 
and, and cropped. Like, I don't need to see this thing, whatever it is here. I don't need to see that chair. You know, I, I need to focus in on and be very, very tight with what you're showing. So, and the other thing of a pizza POS system, when you figured out what is going to be the most important thing about that, you might want to show a picture of the other way where you can actually see the system, see what it's doing for you. And then on the screen next to it, you could put up there like a, a graph of how much money they saved or how many more pizzas they were able to, to sell because of the system, the things that are truly important to them. Make sure the visual connects with the message. That, that makes sense? Yes. And, and this, like this information, this advice works for everyone doesn't matter what you're selling you're above the fold on your website is the most important thing i love that you have the phone number there that's awesome people that hide their phone number on their website seems a little shady right it's like you don't want to you don't want to do business necessarily with that person if they don't want you to know how to contact them so i love the fact that you've got the phone number right up there you've got your logo it's clean not distracting. One thing you want to be careful of is I never advise to put, and you haven't done this, I just want to say this for everyone else, never put your social media links up here in the header. I see so many people doing that. Not a good idea. Use your social media to draw people to your site. Don't bring them to your site and then send them off on all these distractions. Keep them <laughs> on the site. You know, make sure this is your home. Facebook is not your home. Facebook's where your prospects might live. Let's take them to your house. Let's do business under your house where there's not a circus going on. The other thing, the first thing that you want to do and is get them to opt in. Like here, you have a button here. Yes, I want more customers eating my delicious pizza. That's a benefit. That should be up at the top. If you want more customers eating your, your delicious pizza, that's what they're thinking. How do I get more people eating my delicious pizza? That would be much better messaging above the fold. And you're giving away a free marketing tips guide. That should be up at the top. Because when they click there, now they're getting onto your database. Now you're starting the marketing process. You can start. Um, kabob left if you want kebab in the bread. Yeah. We got, um, we got somebody that needs to mute Maybe. here. Yeah, I'll just have to be being Me. Yeah, there you go. All right. So above the folds, really, really important. That's that's your that's your most prime real estate that you're going to have on your website. You want to make sure that you take advantage of it. The idea is grab attention, get them to take an action. If you've grabbed their attention and they don't take the action, at least they'll scroll and then you have another chance to get them to take the action. But if you lose them here, you're done. So that's that's the most important piece. And then let's see. Okay, so you've got frequent asked questions. That's good. Um, the thing about this particular site, you've got everything on one page. So this, and I know you had mentioned this was a, a splash page. So a, a splash page, or a, like some people call them a squeeze page and all that. Uh, the object typically of a splash page is just to get one action taken so you don't put a lot of distraction on it it's just it's almost like a buy or die scenario if you're going to use this as your website you want to have multiple pages to it so the search engine sees it as a valuable resource like you've got you've got multiple pages you could put on here you could put do i need it that could be a page in itself you could put offer like products, you could, that could be a page. Frequently asked questions could be a page and contact us could be a page. So you could build, you know, a four or five, six page website out of this and have a valuable asset. 
So that would be, you know, one recommendation. That way you'd have a footer, you'd have navigational links, the search engines would like it more. The search engines don't typically like standalone one page websites. It's too easy for spammers to kick those out. And that's happened over the years. So they tend to kind of not give them as much juice. So, but other than that, you know, I think you're, I think you're on the right track. <laughs> Did you have any, any other questions or specific questions? Um, I, I had a question about your, the pop site. Um, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong, but I think you said in another um, um, meeting that it was only for websites, correct? So it wouldn't be appropriate for what I have now. I would have to convert this to an actual website. Am I saying that correctly? Are you, you mean the site pop software? Yes. 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 Yeah. Site pop needs at least a two page site because you have to have one page and then you have to have a, a contact us page. So that would be the bare minimum requirement, but I would recommend splitting this up into like four or five pages and then site pop would work for it, but site pop won't work on a one page site. The reason being, you have what site pop does is it shows a quality user experience and with a one page site we can't click through to another page we can, you know we can only go on to one page and that's not going to give you what it does mm -hmm. so site pop is meant to like click multiple pages in your site ultimately landing on your contact page and then closing the browser out telling the search engine that they got you got what you wanted So, but it'd be super easy to turn this into that into a regular website. You've got all the contents here, so that would that would be pretty easy. But I would work on your your front end pitch, like your your big idea. Go through the lesson on big idea, and and really kind of let that soak in, and then make a big idea and throw it out here, and we'll we'll review it. Okay, I, just one one last question. Um, it, it, so. I put your struggles because I I guess I misunderstood and under the under yeah your struggles uh -huh. is where I was trying to uh, speak their language like you said you know they're not they're not thinking technical terms so I kind of you know wrote it out a long form what I thought the um, you know what what their struggle was yeah yeah so I. I guess my, my, my question is um, sh maybe should I put what they struggle with first before I, um, well, the like, struggle, I wrong order. Think about the struggle as the villain in the story, right? You want to introduce the villain as the thing that's going to keep you from getting what you want. So you always first want to talk about the promise big idea that's the biggest piece of the big idea is the promise of what they want and then instead of saying the struggle saying the the thing that's going to derail you or you know something like that and then introduce the villain which the villain is going to cause the struggle the struggle is going to keep them from getting what they want but you haven't really properly introduced the thing that what they want you've kind of what you've introduced here is the thing that's going to get them the result that they want. But you haven't connected them. That's where the magic in the communication happens is talking about what they want. You know, I, I put it in terms of, of uh, seduce the heart and convince the head. For you to make a sale, you have to do those two. Seduce the heart. The heart is where all desire lives. So you have to talk to the heart first. What does the heart want? We have to make a promise. And now all of a sudden, now they're engaged because you're, you're talking about something that's very important to them, what they want. And I can guarantee you what they want is not a POS system. They're not gonna like set up late at night thinking, yeah, I wish I, wish I had a POS system. 
that's going to deliver them the result of what they want is they want more customers eating their pizza. They want, they want either more profit, more efficiency. They want to be able to scale their business. They want ultimately break it down. What does that mean? More people. You got the message right down a little bit. More people eating their pizza. You know, that's their product. The more people they can get that product in their hands, the happier their customers are going to be and the more successful they're going to be. That's going to be the thing that's going to be important to them. So that has to be in your promise. That's, that's got to be right up front. And then you introduce the unique mechanism that's going to deliver the result. That's the second piece to a big idea. And then you say it in, a, in an interesting way of you know you you can somehow tie that in to how it doesn't matter how big or small you are we can put as many of these in your in your system and we can do it in as little as three days you know that's not a great example of a <laughs> but it's working with what you've got here in front of me that that's the way i would do that great thank you john really appreciate it yeah, absolutely. But seduce the heart and then convince the head and you convince the head with facts and figures. And, and, and then at that point, that's where you introduce the villain. Here's the thing that, you know, all this sounds great, but here's the thing. And you can put this as a contrast, you know, without our system, this villain's going to eat you alive. Hmm. You know, you're, you're never going to make it. You're going to struggle. Uh, you know, you're going to see your competitors excelling because they've got the secret weapon that's killing the villain and you don't. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you're turning this into a story that they can see themselves being the hero. Mm -hmm. When you're creating the story, make sure that you are never the hero. You want to make the story so they come out the hero. It's like in Batman, you know, Batman's a perfect example. There's always a villain, right? And Batman is always the hero, right? He's the one that destroys the villain. But the thing he uses to destroy the villain is the weapon that Alfred made for him, right? Alfred, you want to be Alfred. You don't want to be Batman. Let your customer be Batman. Be Alfred with which without Alfred, Batman, it's got nothing. <laughs> right. So make your customer Batman. Allow Excellent. them to be Batman with the weapon that you hand them. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun with this. You know, this could be pure torture or you can turn it into a kind of a fun game, which I like the second part of that better than the first <laughs> all right well cool any anything else before we move on that was great thank you very much hey john can I, this is tim gillette can i give us a, a sales copy thing on that i just see sure. as sure. i see your system and one of the things i would say is your greatest pizza in the world won't sell itself <laughs> yeah uh, and, and the other one I would go with is um, get twice as many customers buying your great pizza in less than three days. The, the other thing too, like uh, while we're on this, the whole AI thing, the chat GPT is really, really good at brainstorming this stuff for you. It's really, really cool for that. So if you haven't played with it, it's a free tool. It's you can learn so much about your market, about what your customers want, about what will get them to move to action, all that kind of stuff. It's a great brainstorming tool to come up with ideas for this stuff. So, and that works across the board for everybody. All right, I, let's. I got a small silly hack on Chat GPT if anybody wants to know. Oh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. At the end of my prompt, I ask, is there anything else you need from me to make this uh, project doable for you? That's awesome. <laughs> it works. 
yeah, so give me an outline I... and say and say, do you want to clarify this part? I'm like, oh sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a actually really good. The other one I think you threw out a couple of weeks ago was asking Chat GPT, what else do I need to know about this? Yeah, it's uh, there's some really cool stuff. Or asking um, Chat GPT to create a prompt. I also noticed I sent you a text. I don't know if you got it. Um, Marketing Blocks just added a feature that is a Chat GPT prompt editor. Oh, cool! So you can put in Marketing Blocks how to design the the prompt you need for Chat GPT. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if you couldn't do that with chat GPT itself. Ask it, how, what's the best way to create prompts? To Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I sent you one of those too. Yeah, to build <laughs> a, Yeah, I want to build a sales letter. What prompts should I use for you? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, cool. it's, it's creepy cool, but yeah, just ask it to do whatever, even, even write a prompt for itself, it'll do it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I talked earlier about the... Uh, the show that I listened in on Sunday morning and the product, it was called purity products. When I got home, I did a little research and I actually found where they have all their episodes of all their different shows. And I actually found the one that, that, uh, that I listened in on and it says green tea CR. That was the one that I listened. It's 27 minutes, 28 minutes. And this is the one they have a bunch of them here i didn't realize they had this many but the one is green tea cr that's the one i'm going to let you guys listen to i'm also going to copy this url and i'm going to put it in the chat for you so if you want to you know listen to any of their other ones i just put it in the in the chat so i'm going to go ahead and play this and as it's playing through, I'm going to stop it and like point out the different key points so you can see, you know, why they're doing what they're doing here. So let's see, let me cue it up and here we go. Introducing TuneIn Explorer. Now you can discover thousands of radio stations across the globe with our interactive map. Zoom in to find radio stations in nearly every country in the world. Filter by genre and like. Let me restart that. Maybe we won't get a commercial this time. <laughs> the only thing you have to suffer through is commercials. All right, let's try it again. For these three particular ingredients. Now, Chris, before we tell our listeners how they can get their very own complimentary, the it's always the right time deal. Hey, want to go to Mickey D's for lunch? Oh, let's go now. <laughs> but it's not lunchtime yet. If we're going to McDonald's, it's always the right time. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. There's a deal for every lunch hour at McDonald's. Now's the time to get two for three ninety nine. Mix and match a four-piece McNuggets, a McDouble, a McChicken, or a hot and spicy McChicken. Price and participation may vary. Not be combined with any other offer. Single item, regular price. Obviously, that is not what I wanted you to listen to. It's just another commercial. I think if we hit another commercial, I'm going to hit the skip 15 seconds forward. But uh, we'll see if we can get into the, the meat and potatoes here. Following is a paid advertisement by Purity Products. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. Hi there, and that is really important. They led with that. They led with the disclaimer. So when you guys go listen to this again, listen to that very carefully. You could literally take what he just said verbatim and use that to protect yourself. If you're selling health products and you don't do that, you're putting yourself in jeopardy. Welcome to Healthline. I'm your host, Pat Campbell, and we are sponsored by the fine folks at Purity Products. One of my favorite guests is on the line. We've got Chris Killam, also known as the Medicine Hunter, standing by now. CNN calls Chris the Indiana Jones of natural medicine because he's well, constantly scouring the globe, searching for natural remedies. You may have seen Chris on the Dr. Oz show or 
maybe on PBS or CBS and also on Fox News where he does a health segment. He's been featured in the New York Times and also on ABC's 2020. Anyway, this is George. So never in there is he said, is he proclaimed as a doctor. He is not a doctor. They are positioning him in a position of authority. So you take his advice as though he is a doctor. But never is he came out and called a doctor. That's really important. What is happening here? He's getting introduced to an audience by someone that is building his authority for him. So when he comes on, he doesn't have to go in and talk about himself all that much. It's already done for him. What people say about you is heard much stronger than what you say about yourself. What you say about yourself is like the difference between features and benefits. Nobody cares about the features. They only care about the benefits. This is the same type of thing. What you say about yourself is not heard. What others say about you is taken at face value in many cases. So very important piece there. Joining us today to discuss not one, but three of the hottest nutritional ingredients out there on the market today. Even better, he's teamed up with Purity today to give away a complimentary bottle to everyone out there in the listening audience. So do not, I repeat, do not change that dial. But first, a quick inter... <laughs> so there's a sense of urgency there. He's giving you direction. And he's also talking about a bonus. They haven't even talked about the product yet. And he's already talking about a bonus you're going to receive only if you listen. So they're indoctrinating you to spend the next 30 minutes with them. They're telling you why you want to spend the next 30 minutes with them. Again, very important. These guys are really good at what they do. I've never heard them before. But when I was listening to the Sunday morning, I'm like, holy shit, these guys got this nailed down. I want to use this as an example. Production. Chris Killam is an author and an educator. He's written 14 books. He's conducted research in over 30 countries. Again, he's been on with Oprah and Friends and Dr. Oz. Chris, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much, Pat. It's always a pleasure to have a great conversation with you. Now, most of us are super busy these days. We want to stay healthy, but quite frankly, it can be daunting, you know, with all the different supplements out there. Now, Chris, you've traveled all over the world learning about different natural remedies. So you really know which ingredients to look for. So tell me this, besides a good multivitamin, the fish oil, maybe two other things, go into the three super hot nutrients you've been so jazzed about lately. Well, I'm happy to do that, Pat. The three super nutrients, as we like to say, are a green tea extract, a turmeric extract called curcumin, and an extract from red wine called resveratrol. And apropos of what you said about my traveling around the world, I've extensively investigated these in their host countries. So I've been in the green tea plantations of China and India and worked with top researchers of this ingredient in those countries. With turmeric, I've been deeply involved with turmeric researchers in India and seen all of that. And with resveratrol, I've worked with scientists in Europe and also in California and Chile and South Africa, all of which are major red wine producing areas. So I've had the opportunity to investigate these things in the field, meet with the top scientists. And my conclusion is that green tea, curcumin from turmeric root, and resveratrol from red wine are remarkable health enhancing agents that everybody can benefit from in a very, very substantial way. Now notice that he said health enhancing things. They're not talking about curing anything. They're not talking about any particular disease. They're not talking about any particular symptom even. They're just equating this to health. So that's that's very important there. They are going to tie it in. They're going to they have some really good ways of tying it in, but they're not doing it out of the gate. Now, Chris, let's talk about these big three. And it's interesting that they're all found in our diet and all are considered superfoods. The green tea, the curcumin, the resveratrol. Why did you want to combine the three? There's always a method to your 
your madness, if I can say it that way, because you combine these things together because they have a synergistic effect. They make each other work better. You call it a real game changer. Well, you know, when I look at these, there actually isn't a reason, Pat, to put them all in separate products. They do go very well together. As you said, they're all food derived. So it's kind of like you can make a salad if you choose out of many vegetables. You don't just have to have a bowl of lettuce or a bowl of cucumbers. And while that's a little bit simplistic, the fact is that all of these are very, very rich in groups of protective compounds that are both antioxidants. So they actually retard the aging process of the cells in our bodies and protect our organ systems. So they maintain a healthy inflammatory status in the body. And this is really a big breakthrough. I also like the idea that people can get a concentrated supplement of green tea extract, curcumin extract, and resveratrol in one product with truly meaningful amounts of each one mm -hmm. and not have to go out and basically buy a shopping cart full of stuff. Now, let's so you're talking about the benefits of why you would do this versus building a salad on your own. And he talks about amounts, meaningful amounts of the stuff. So he's, he's basically alluding to there is a lot of stuff you don't know about what he's delivering in this one pill. Dive into the headlines and the research, especially on this green tea, because it's absolutely amazing. I know in Asia, they've been using it for thousands of years for healthy aging. But what are you seeing recently in the press? I know you told That's the second time he's referred to aging. So they're, they're actually coming through under the radar telling you this is an anti-aging system. This stuff is going to turn back the clock and make you younger. That is a major benefit. A lot of people are looking for anti-aging products right now. So they're, they're making the gap here that this is going to turn back the clock for you. It's going to make you feel younger, healthier, stronger. You know, that's kind of the, the basis for this. I mean, the Nutrition Research Journal in its July 2012 issue revealed that green tea significantly increased plasma antioxidant activity and whole blood glutathione. Can you recap some of these headlines and tell me why you're such a green tea advocate? Okay, what you just said about increasing plasma antioxidant activity is really critical. There are many antioxidants that people consume that don't actually wind up in the body or they don't wind up in the body in any significant amount. The green tea antioxidants, which we know are among the most highly beneficial antioxidants in the entire world, are very well absorbed. They improve plasma antioxidant activity. That is the blood concentration of antioxidants. So what happens is you get this great concentration of antioxidant substances, which are protective compounds floating around in the body and protecting the cells of your body, your organs, every part of your body from premature destruction due to exposure to environmental pollutants and things in the diet. With regard to the whole blood glutathione, when we take in the right antioxidants and not all antioxidant compounds are the right antioxidants. So notice there he's giving you a contrast. There's the right ones and the wrong ones. And he did it twice in that segment. The first time he came out, he said, there's a lot of these that the body can't handle. They don't, that doesn't work right. And then he talked about the ones that did. And then he just gave you a direct contrast right there. So contrasting, this is what's going to happen if you don't do it my way. And this is what's going to happen if you do. Contrasts are really strong. Bodies produce more of its own super protective compound called glutathione. So you take in the green tea extract, you build the antioxidant activity in your blood, and you also cause your body to produce this enormously beneficial, very well studied, very powerful protective substance called glutathione. So it is remarkable. This isn't something that most high antioxidant foods or supplement ingredients do, but it does happen with a concentrated, properly made green tea extract. All right. 
So he's teaching you something. He's teaching you a secret language that you probably didn't know before. He's bringing you into the fold. He's sharing like secret weapons to protect your health. And it's it's really slick the way that they're doing this. So I just I just want to keep you on top of what they're doing all the way through this thing. Let's switch gears and talk about this curcumin, which is number two on your list. And by the way, these three ingredients are all found in the new green tea combo formula. We're going to be offering a free bottle in a few minutes, but talk to me about the curcumin, which is spelled C-U-R-C-U-M-I-N. Now, most people haven't heard of it, but scientists and researchers know it's one of the most powerful superfoods on the planet. It can positively influence our DNA, maintain joint comfort healthy inflammation and more. Can you share some of the incredible headlines on curcumin and tell us why you use this? And we talked about this off air a few minutes ago, this patent. So uh, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about with Nova about seduce the heart and convince the head. So they're seducing the heart here with the thought of, I can turn back the clock. I can, I can have this stuff in my body that's protecting me from aging. And now what they're doing is they're convincing the head with facts. They're teaching you, they're, they're showing you the secret language. They're revealing, you know, these scientific terms and names, and they're convincing your head that, hey, this stuff works. Scientists have proved this works. So whenever you seduce the heart, you still have to convince the head. And that's what they're doing with all this jargon. Did BCM95 formula of curcumin with seven times greater absorption? Okay. Well, first of all, I think while people might not know the term curcumin, they may well know turmeric root, which is a yellow spice, and it shows up in curries, and it's part of the 5,000-year-old Indian Ayurvedic system of medicine. I've been studying turmeric and its derivative curcumin since the 1970s, and I'll say this right off the bat, that there are almost no plant materials in the world as extensively studied as this. A couple of thousand studies can be found in the scientific and medical literature. We know that curcumin is powerfully antioxidant. We know that it's has a remarkable capacity to protect the liver, and the liver is our primary detoxifying organ. It greatly enhances joint health. So if people are experiencing joint discomfort due to overuse, this really helps to relieve that. And it's also... Notice it doesn't cure it. It helps to relieve it. That's really important. They're not talking about any cures of anything. They're telling you how your liver does a function that helps prevent that that joint discomfort right they refer to it as joint discomfort not and, and again they're not curing anything they're talking about substances that can enhance your body to relieve you of things very important that you stay out of trouble from not making medical claims there's no, this guy makes no medical claims at all. What we call cardioprotective. It helps to protect the heart. It helps to maintain normal, healthy cholesterol. Now, what I hear when I hear protect the heart is I'm going to prevent heart disease. I'm not going to have a heart attack if I take this stuff, right? But he's not saying that, but that's the way it's being interpreted. And one last thing that is really kind of astounding is that curcumin actually causes your body to produce what are called neuroprotective factors in the brain. So it causes your body to produce these agents in the brain that protect the actual tissue of the nerves and the brain itself. There's almost nothing else that we know of that does this. Specifically, the BCM95 that you mentioned offers about seven times the absorption of any other curcumin extract. So when you take 250 milligrams of this stuff, you get about seven times the activity that you would if you took, say, a comparable amount of another curcumin extract. So this, in my opinion, is one of the most life-enhancing, protective, totally beneficial substances on earth. And it has just decades 
of scientific and medical studies to back it up. Now, Chris, I know that we... So, you know, in the story, <clears throat> who do you think he's coming off as? He's not coming off as Batman. He's coming off as Alfred. He's giving you the secret weapon to protect yourself from anti-aging. That's what's going on in the story right here. Never does he produce, never does he come across as Batman. He is allowing you to be Batman. You're going to take Alfred's secret weapon and you're going to protect yourself. You're going to kill heart disease. You're going to kill joint pain. You are going to be Batman in your own story with your own body talked already about the green tea in the curcumin in your new green tea CR liquid soft gel formula, which Purity is giving away for free today. But first, tell me about the third nutrient on the list, the resveratrol, which is super hot right now. Share with us some of the headlines and the science behind resveratrol. I know it's from red wine and the French love it, but why is it on your short list? Well, resveratrol is one of those remarkable compounds that I just sort of shake my head at how many different things it does. It is found in grapes, in wine grapes. It also shows up in cranberries. What we know about resveratrol is that like green tea and also like curcumin extract, it's profoundly antioxidant. But more than that, it shows significant properties. When you look at some of the things in the body that happen during aging as a result of fat accumulation in tissue and insulin sensitivity, resveratrol helps to protect against those things. It's a powerful immune regulator. And you know, our immune system is responsible for keeping us healthy. It is remarkably been... Notice that. Our, he's talking about your immune system is what's responsible for keeping you healthy. He's not making a claim that he's going to do it. He's not making a claim that his product is going to do it. It's your immune system is is in your body. It's going to do this. He's just giving you the secret weapons to allow it to do that. Official for the heart. And this is why it's considered one of the keys to the so-called French paradox. You know, the French drink a lot of red wine, they eat a lot of cheese, they smoke cigarettes, and they stay slim, and they have good cardiovascular health, which just seems completely unfair. But resveratrol appears to be key in that. And additionally, there is a brain benefit like there is with the curcumin with blood flow to the brain. So when you take resveratrol, you get brain blood flow. This means you get more oxygen to the tissues of the brain. Your brain cells stay healthier longer. Your mind is clear, sharp, and focused. So this is on my short list for all those reasons and for about a dozen more that would just plain take too long to explain. All right, again, we're talking with Chris Killam, also known as the Indiana Jones of natural medicine, sometimes. <laughs> you got to like that, the Indiana Jones of natural medicine. You guys get how powerful that is? This guy is not a doctor, but he is the Indiana Jones of natural medicine. Yet nowhere in here does he say any of that. This is being said for him. He's like this Indiana Jones of natural medicine. You have to be very careful about what you say about yourself. Let others do that talking for you. And I guarantee you, this guy that's interviewing him, all of his questions are highly engineered. This guy's just not, this is not a natural conversation just coming off the cuff here. I don't know if you've caught that. This is highly engineered. This is a sales presentation. This is not an interview. The guy that's asking the questions already knows all the jargon. Those questions are queued up and put on a teleprompter. He's leading this guy to reveal all the secrets. And, they, and they've talked about, you know, they just talked about another benefit, another health benefit of clarity. You know, oxygen to the brain. They're giving you the benefit. They're seducing the heart. Then they're convincing your head with telling you how it works. Here's what it does. Here's how it works. So all of a sudden your heart falls in love with it and your head believes it. My God, this guy knows what he's talking about, right? Because he told you how it worked. 
That's how you create demand and desire, by seducing the heart and convincing the head. Very powerful stuff here. Called the Medicine Hunter as well. Chris, let's laser in on how this wonderful formula that you created in conjunction with Purity Products. I know that Purity's been in business now for, what is it, over 20 years. They've got a top rating from the Better Business Bureau. And people can get a complimentary bottle of this green tea CR today. We'll give that number out in a few minutes. But first, what does the CR stand for? And second, you designed this formula in a liquid soft gel. Why do you like the liquid soft gel technology so much? Listen here, here comes a benefit. Okay, first question first, it's called Green Tea CR, which is short for Green Tea, Curcumin, and Resveratrol. The big three ingredients that are in this product in meaningful protective amounts. The reason that it's in a liquid soft gel is that that allows for rapid and very complete absorption. I'm not suggesting that there's anything wrong with tablets or capsules that contain powders right. because there isn't. But when you have a fluid soft gel, you just happen to get more quick breakdown of the capsule, more rapid absorption, and to some extent, more complete absorption into the intestines, that means that your body utilizes more of the ingredients in the supplement. So green tea CR is green tea, curcumin, and resveratrol. And the reason for a liquid soft gel is it's just a superior dosage form, especially for these three particular ingredients. Now, Chris so that was that was a whole bunch of benefits in that answer. The question cued him up to just unleash a bunch of different benefits there. They're also going to refer to a testimonial that enforces this. So now it's not just them saying it. It's it's coming from testimonials. I don't know if that's coming up next, but watch for that to come through. And I'm talking specifically about the size of the pill using a testimonial to enforce that benefit. Before we tell our listeners how they can get their very own complimentary bottle of green tea CR, tell me this, if you wanted to buy this green tea plus the patented BCM95 curcumin plus the resveratrol, I mean, you'd spend close to probably at least $75 for all three bottles in the store. And yet today, Purity Products is giving away a free bottle. How are they able to do this? Well, you can consider it kind of a smart bet. And what I mean by that, first of all, purity is big, but they're also very strategic. They know that if the person who's listening will pick up the phone, call in and get their free bottle, and it really is free, as in free, as yep. in it doesn't cost you money, if that person will try the product, take it as recommended, they're going to feel it. And when they feel it, they're going to say, gee, I want this as part of my regular daily regimen. So Purity is really betting beyond the free bottle. They're betting that people will have a positive experience. That the Life is uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed and anxious. So I figured it'd be a good time to cut the commercial out. But what they're telling you here is the reason they're giving it away for free is because it works. And they know you're going to be so happy with it, you're going to continue to buy it. So they're pre-framing you to the fact that this works and they're doing it in no uncertain terms they're saying this is why we're willing to do this why would you give away your product for free because i know it works and you're going to use it forever and that's the only way that you would try it is if i give it to you for free All right? so that's a that's a pretty pretty aggressive way to do a risk reversal and a guarantee you know, whenever there's an irresistible offer, you want to make sure you do a risk reversal and a guarantee that was theirs. Worried or frustrated? We are, and they'll order more. So from security standpoint, I have to say, it isn't much of a risk at all. Chris, hold that thought. I want to get to the special offer. More from my guests coming up in a minute. There's an incredible free bottle <laughs> offer today on Purity Products' amazing new Green Tea CR Super Formula. Here's the deal. Call Purity Products right now. In fact, be one of the first thousand callers today. Just pay $4.95 for shipping, which is 100% refundable. Purity's going to rush you out a complimentary bottle of green tea CR formula for you to put to the test. You try it. You be the judge. Purity knows that once you experience the benefits of green tea CR, 
you're not going to want to miss a day of taking it. That's why they're willing to send you a free bottle today. So call right now. Operators are standing by. 1-800-499-7505. Again, that's 1-800-499-7505. Call now. 1-800-499-7505. Green TCR delivers a potent combination of green tea, plus patented BCM95 curcumin and resveratrol in one easy-to-take liquid soft gel. Do it for your energy levels, your focus, mental clarity, your cardiovascular health, to support healthy dieting, immune defense, joint comfort, and so much more. You notice they're re reiterating all the stuff that it does without saying it's a cure for anything. Right. And he's going to hit you in a minute with the sense of urgency. He already alluded to it. Be one of the first thousand callers. The other thing that poses is, Jesus, there's going to be a thousand people order this right now. That gives you a little bit of FOMO. It also gives you social proof that this thing is hot and it works and people are buying it. And I don't want a bunch of other people out living me because I was didn't buy this right and they did they're going to be healthy and i'm going to be sick so they're they're implying all of the stuff in here it's pretty phenomenal how much they've packed in here and how they engineered it to do such and your complimentary bottle call now 1-800-499-7505 one little catch this free bottle offer is not available in stores and you won't find it online either only through today's phone number limit so that is scarcity this is not available anywhere else this is the only place you're going to get this offer so there's the scarcity built into the offer one free bottle per household call now 1-800-499-7505 one last time for those writing it down here we go 1-800-499-7505 Okay, Chris, talk about some of the headlines just on the green tea that we didn't get to yet. I understand that dieters just love green tea because it supports healthy fat metabolism. Is that right? And what does the research say about green tea when it comes to weight management? Well, this is one of the especially wonderful things about green tea, Pat. We know that green tea has thermogenic properties. That is, it has heat generating properties in the body. So it actually causes your body to burn more calories. So when you eat a meal, you're going to burn more calories from that meal as a result of taking a good, well-made, concentrated green tea extract. In addition, it has specific fat oxidation properties. It actually burns fat. I'm not suggesting that you're going to lose 20 pounds in a week, but I am. But he did just say it. I'm saying that this is going to help your body to metabolize fat more efficiently. Over time, taking a green tea extract can help you to have a better fat to lean muscle ratio. So from a weight control standpoint, this is very good news. Additionally, green tea helps to stabilize blood glucose or blood sugar. And unstable blood sugar is one of the contributing factors to increased weight. So by stabilizing blood sugar, you have an effect on weight control and weight management. So it's really quite remarkable stuff. You need enough of it. We've got enough of it in green tea CR. It has to be the right extract. We've got the right extract. But the science is there for healthy weight management. All right. Now, Chris, you say that with Purity's formula, it provides you with about three cups worth of green tea in each two capsule serving of these cutting edge liquid soft gels. So you get all of the green tea's concentrated benefits for energy, for heart health, for alertness in just two soft gel caps. Plus you get the curcumin and the resveratrol too. So it's easy. You call it your daily shortcut to better health. Explain this idea of a healthy shortcut and explain some of the top benefits as well. Well, I mean, you could, for example, drink three cups of good concentrated green tea each day, eat at least one really rich curry made with a lot of turmeric root, and drink a couple of glasses of red wine. You could do that every day. But are you going to? None of us are going to do all that stuff. So he's giving you a contrast. 
of if you want all this benefit, you're either going to have to do all that, or you can take my little soft gel pack. <laughs> Most people will not do that every day, but they still might want the benefits of three of the biggest superstar protective health enhancing nutrients on the entire planet. So when I call this a daily shortcut, I'm simply saying that you can get in a capsule, in a good liquid soft gelatin capsule, what you'd otherwise have to get by drinking a few cups of tea, eating at least one large, you know, turmeric laden curry every day and drinking a couple of glasses of concentrated red wine. Again, we're talking with Chris Killam, the medicine hunter. Now, in this new green tea CR formula from Purity, it's really about the research. Share with us some of your favorite studies in the headlines on the curcumin. This is one of your favorite ingredients for joint comfort and even for brain health. Well, I especially like the liver protective, heart protective, and joint modifying properties of this stuff. The liver is our greatest detoxifying organ. And we know that we're constantly bombarded by toxins in the environment. In fact, blood studies show that newborn babies contain 200 industrial pollutants in their blood at the time of birth. So we need a functioning, super healthy, very strong liver. We might not think about our livers that much, but we need that. Mm -hmm. And we know that curcumin protects the liver, it detoxifies the liver, it keeps it strong. From a cardiac standpoint, it's highly beneficial for the heart. It's very good for maintaining healthy cholesterol and healthy platelet levels. And from a joint standpoint, we have innumerable studies showing overall improvement in joint health and relief and stable inflammatory activity, better joint mobility as a result of taking curcumin. I like the brain protective studies as well. You know, I think everybody wants a sharper, clearer mind and curcumin delivers all this. So I regard it as one of the single most important things that you can put in your body. And I'm very well aware, Pat, that most people are not going to eat enough raw turmeric root to get the benefits that they should and that they can get from a concentrated curcumin extract. All right, I want to remind people that they can call now to get started with a free bottle of Green Tea CR from Purity Products. This is their unique green tea formula, curcumin, the resveratrol. Get your free bottle today, just pay $4.95 for shipping. Call now. Operators are standing by 1 800 499 7505. Again, 1 800 499 7505. Zero five. All right, back to the show. Chris, I don't want to get too technical here, but these antioxidants in green tea are classified as polyphenols, and they really are super powerful and well-respected by scientists. But in this green tea CR formula, there's more. It's got the green tea, it's got the curcumin, the resveratrol that we talked about, plus grape seed extract, pine bark, bioflavonoids, vitamin C. Can you talk to me about this array of really super antioxidants and this almost reminds me of the commercial in the 70s about the Ginsu knife. But that's not it. But wait, there's more. <laughs> they just keep layering on the benefits here. They're not talking about much features here, where they're talking about benefits all related back to the same thing. They're contrasting the hell out of what's going to happen if you don't do it. They're contrasting how difficult it is to do it versus just take the pill. It's like they got a lot going on in this thing. Polyphenols that you've put in the formula. Well, yeah, I won't say that we kind of went overkill, but I will say that we really, really developed an efficient, comprehensive program here. Grape seed extract and pine bark extract both contain a group of highly specialized antioxidant compounds that not only do much of what I've already described, but also enhance the physical integrity of tissue in the blood vessels and the skin. So we put those in there for extra boost in antioxidant activity, but also for a specific type of activity that isn't as much addressed by the green tea, the curcumin, and the resveratrol. The bioflavonoids enhance the overall activity of vitamin C, and vitamin C itself is one of the most important nutrients that we can possibly take in. So I would say that we were very, very thorough 
you know, when we went through what could be in this product, we said, you know, what would happen if we put in grape seed extract, pine bark extract, bioflavonoids, and vitamin C? We realized that we would have an utterly superior formula. And just to reiterate, Pat, I want people to experience dynamic health. I want people to feel great. This See, again, they're not talking about anything specific. They're not talking, they're not calling out any disease. They're basically coating this thing in a blanket of this is going to fix anything you've got in this one magical miracle pill. The way they've packaged this thing up, it when I, when I was listening to it on Sunday, I was like, every time they came out with another one and another one and another one, it reminded me that the biggest problem in sales and in selling product is underestimating what it takes to make a sale these guys are not underestimating it at all they are they are throwing everything they've got at it to seduce your heart convince your head make an irresistible offer reverse the risk take all the risk off the table in fact and you know and then the scarcity is coming up and also, they're going to they're going to refer to testimonials too, which I thought was pretty phenomenal. Formula: the green tea CR will make you feel great, and that's the purpose of it. All right, Chris, I love this green tea CR combination formula. And remember, the CR stands for curcumin and resveratrol. I love that with this complimentary bottle today, our listeners can get started for free. That's great value. What would people expect to pay if they bought all of these separately in the store? Well, I think if they bought high quality products that contain these ingredients, they'd be into it for about 75 bucks or so, possibly even 80. Yeah. So they'd wind up spending appreciably more than they're going to spend on the green TCR formula. And they still wouldn't get the grapeseed extract. They still wouldn't get the pine bark extract, the bioflavonoids or the vitamin C. And Chris, what kind of results can people expect to see? What can they expect? So before we hit the results, the, did you notice the, the last benefit there was saving money? Now that they've convinced you what you're going to want to do, wouldn't you want to save money to do it? So they've, they've nailed it down every step of the way. Expect to feel once they start taking this formula. I think that people will feel greater joint mobility and comfort. I think they'll feel more energy because these ingredients also help to stabilize and maintain natural, healthy blood sugar control. I think they'll have more sustained energy throughout the day. And I would just... I don't know if you caught that, but they've talked a lot about blood sugar. That's diabetes. So they're also saying this is a not a cure, but an enhancement or a help for people with diabetes expect that people will have an experience of greater vitality when you detoxify the body when you have a more highly functional immune system you just feel more energy and better overall it's kind of you know like those days when you get up and go wow i feel great this is a wow i feel great formula now chris the green tea cr let me get this straight it provides about three cups worth of green tea in each two capsule serving Plus, you get the antioxidant equivalent of several servings of fruits and vegetables. Plus, you get the resveratrol equivalent of several servings of red wine and the joint comfort and brain function benefits of the curcumin. I mean, wow, all in one formula. In the last two minutes, talk to me about this shortcut to better health and why you want everyone listening to this program to call now for that complimentary bottle of green tea CR. Okay. Fortunately, there's an immense body of science that has been growing steadily for the past 20 years, and it's really rich science now. We know that of the various plant-derived substances that exist, green tea extract, curcumin extract, and resveratrol extract are at the absolute top of the list of protective, vitality-enhancing, overall health-promoting compounds. There just isn't anything like these. They're in the green tea CR, CR standing for curcumin and resveratrol product in meaningful amounts. People will take this product 
it will be rapidly broken down in the system, very well absorbed. They're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel energy. You're going to feel more vitality. You're just plain going to feel better, kind of more fluid and in that flow of good health. Sure. So I want people to experience that. And given that they can get a free bottle, I'm also not saying, now put yourself at great risk and spend a lot of money. I say, no, try it free. Let the product speak for itself. Chris Kellum is always fascinating information. We appreciate your insight. Thanks so much. Thank you, Pat. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. There's an inc- So I, I used to, used to find this stuff so cheesy. But now as I'm looking back, you know, seeing it in a different perspective with different goggles on, I can totally see what they're doing and why they're doing it. And this stuff, it works. You know, you might not like the fact that it works but it works based on human nature. They're doing exactly what I talk about in the ACT program. Seduce the heart, convince the head, make an irresistible offer. When you're seducing the heart, you're talking about the promise of what they want. When you're convincing the head, you're talking about eliminating objections. And then the irresistible offer, you make it ridiculous. It would be ridiculous for you not to try this stuff for free, right? If it's going to give you all this health benefit, make you feel better. They've made it absolutely ridiculous. They've reversed the risk. It's no cost to you. You just pay the shipping. And they even said you can get the shipping back if you didn't like it. So it's a 100% risk reversal. They're using everything that I've ever talked about in one 30-minute segment. So that's what I want you guys to be able to see what's going on around you, understand it and break it down, learn from it and use it. In the ACT program, we talk about competitive analysis. This is a competitive analysis process I just took you through. We looked at a competing product, how they're selling it, what they're doing. If you guys didn't learn a lot from that, then you're already up above level and you already know it. Most people aren't. Most people can learn a tremendous amount about this stuff if you just pay attention. You know, you have to understand there's a lot that you can learn if you pay attention. The stuff is going on all around you. It's just you're you're blowing it off like I did for so long. I just thought, oh, that's cheesy. I'm not listening to that. You know, that's just the sales pitch. I don't care. But from a learning perspective, these guys are really good and they do this because it works. They've been running these, I look back, they've been running this, these commercials for years. Nobody does things for years that doesn't work. So how would you like to have something, have the benefit of all of their years of knowledge packed up that you could use right now? without going through years of figuring it out. That's where your competitive analysis comes in. So find somebody in your market that figured out how to sell their stuff and just use it, you know, make it your own. Not saying, you know, copy them hundred percent, rip them off, but look at what they're doing and learn what they're doing, how it's working, why it's working, and then turn it into your own format. You could, anybody that wants to do a webinar, you could do a webinar based on this model, which is an interview model, right? You've got the interviewer and you've got the expert. Any of you could do this. You just have to write the script for your interviewer and tell them what to ask you and tell them not to go off the range. Just read the, (laughs) read the script. (laughs) You don't want them to derail you. So any, any questions about this? There's one piece. This must not have been the one that I listened to on Sunday because I've, I've been talking about the sense of urgency. They referred to the thousand, that this is only available for the first thousand people at call. What that does is that implies there's a bunch of people going to take advantage of this offer and it creates FOMO. So you don't want to miss out. That's where it moves you to action quickly. It's only available on the call, during the call. Well, I can tell you almost without a doubt, that's complete rubbish. If you called in next Tuesday, they'd still honor it. And if if you called in and said, was I one of the first thousand, they're going to say, no, but we'll honor it anyway, right? 
<laughs> that thousand is going to go until the end of time and the offer probably will too but they package it that way to create that sense of urgency because they know that if you don't buy it now and the in the commercial ends and you haven't bought it by the time the commercial ends their odds of you calling that 800 number just went to zilch so they have to create a reason why you dial the number now while you're on the call or while you're on, listening to the, to the segment. <clears throat> hey, so, John. Yeah. Janie here. Thank you for this great example with your edits about the reference to the ACT program. That was really good. And that one thing I noticed was they only said one time the three bottle offer which means that Oops. you probably have to give you your credit card in addition to the $4.95 shipping to get the other two bottles. Yes. I can tell you from experience that I have called these kind of things in the past. And I can tell you from experience, they're going to set you up. They're going to get your credit card number to cover the shipping. And then they're going to give you a special upsell offer that we know you're going to love this this free bottle so instead of paying the retail price when you're ready to buy the second bottle you can buy a three-month supply right now and save 30 percent and lock in the savings forever by getting on an auto ship program so that's the way their sales system goes after remember it's hardest to make the first sale so they want to make the first sale easy it's just pay for the shipping 495 now they've got their credit card. How easy is it for you to say yes to the next offer? That's why they do it that way. It's totally engineered. It's absolutely engineered. That's the three bottle thing. Get 90 days supply. Hey, you're still at no risk. If you don't like the first free bottle, just send the whole thing back. We'll refund your purchase, even the shipping. All right. That's how they pose. It. It's very, very effective. So think about that. Like when you guys are crafting your offers, how are you going to craft an offer that's that good? That's what you should be thinking. The biggest thing, like I said, the biggest problem I've ever seen is people underestimating how difficult it's going to be to make a sale. They all think it's easy. They all think I got good stuff and it's going to fly off the shelf and people are just going to stammer over and buy it. They're going to they're gonna stampede. I don't think I've ever seen that happen naturally. That's, that's off the reservation. You have to sell your stuff. You have to figure out how are you going to seduce their heart. You can't do that effectively if you haven't figured out what they want and why they want it. That's the A and act. That's the analysis piece. That's why you have to do it first. Then you create your messaging. That's the C and act. You have to convey the value. You have to, that's your chance to seduce the heart. Actually, first grab the attention. If you can't grab their attention, you don't get to play. Once you've grabbed their attention, if you can seduce their heart with promise, you'll go to the next round, which is if you've seduced their heart and they want it, the only thing standing in the way of you in a sale now is an objection. So you have to eliminate all the objections. And then you have to make that irresistible offer. Most people don't do that. They think, oh, I can just put a price on it and everybody's going to buy it. Well, if you have something like that, I would love to see it. I'd love to learn how that works. <laughs> but, you know, the reality of it is most people underestimate the difficulty of selling a product. And that's where they'll fail. They might have great stuff. Stuff might change the world but it's never going to see the light of day because they haven't figured out how to convey the value. And you can't do that without the analysis piece. You have to figure out what people are thinking, why they want this, what it's going to do for them. Forget the features. Nobody buys things from features. They buy it from benefits. And remember that it's very easy to tell the difference from a, between a feature and a benefit. A feature is what it is. If you're describing the product for what it is, you're talking about features. If you're describing the product for what it does, 
you're talking about the benefits that's what they care about that's what they'll buy they'll buy benefits all day long so hey john any questions in particular about that what we just yeah. listened to? <laughs> i've got one john hmm? can you hear me okay yeah go ahead randy hey um can you take that methodology and use it as an example um, say you're just starting out like I am and you're doing small, you're doing live events. Obviously mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk, walk before you run. So can that, that, that technique that they used, not only a sense of urgency, but that this, I'm thinking in terms of, Hey, there's only limited seating. Does, is that something, but what happens if you say limited seating, blah, 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 and they get there and 50% of the seats are still open. I mean, does that affect your credibility because you advertised and got, got them all charged up? No, not at all. That All that does is that gives you as a speaker an opportunity to give the people in the room the satisfaction that they were smart enough to show up. Okay. You reiterate, wow, I cannot believe the amount of people that are going to miss out on what you guys are going to get. Every seat in this room was sold. And, and I and I didn't show up. Yeah, okay. And I remember Craig using that that term you that statement you just said. I remember him using it uh, several times. Yeah. The all the other thing that you can do is you can preposition that they're going to move forward because they're the smart ones. You Got guys it. are the ones that are going to succeed. You guys are the ones that are going to take advantage. And what that poses is when you make your offer, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to take advantage of it because they're yeah, the that, smart. Yeah, that makes a lot, a lot of sense. Okay. I just, I was trying to relate what you were teaching us to what, you know, obviously what I'm doing and everyone else I'm sure is trying to do the same for what they're doing. Yeah. It works for everything. You could take that format. That format is really just an interview style education piece. Mm -hmm. education-based marketing delivered in an interview style where you're getting a third party to endorse you and ask the questions and lead you to what you want to say it's highly yeah. engineered i guarantee you that thing was <laughs> highly engineered got it okay <laughs> neither one of them missed a beat and it was like each one knew what the other was going to say already to me it was a little like I, maybe I'm just a little cynical. I think it was very contrived looking, but I got to tell you, it works. I'm sure yeah, they it, crap out of that stuff. I wouldn't be surprised, but what some of you were, that were listening and called the number while we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, they made that so across the board. I talk about being specific. They figured out a way to be generic and make it work. That was absolutely magnificent. Any health related thing they covered, you know, and they talked about why they talked about, you know, like they, they even put out there, did you guys catch the part about newborn babies have toxin in them now because of the environment? Yeah. It's not their fault. Right. It's not yeah. their fault that this miracle pills, the only thing that's going to save them and make them have a healthy body that's going to give them longevity. It's going to make sure their joints don't ache. It's going to make sure they don't get heart disease. They under the lid. That's what they were saying. That's what we were hearing. But they said it in a way that could never be attacked by authorities. That was the brilliant part. And that's why I wanted to show it because I know uh, several of you on here do health stuff. And we had talked about health a couple of weeks ago and kind of one of the biggest pitfalls is getting in trouble with the, you know, the, the big agencies out there. So that was one of the reasons I, I really thought that was timely to show that and share that with you guys, because you have to be careful. If you're selling health related products, you cannot come out and talk about cures. I mean, unless you're part of big pharma, Big Pharma has the rights and the licenses to say, hey, take this pill and it'll cure whatever. You know, they can get away with that because they've paid off the right people and they get that benefit. 
but we haven't, so we don't have that protective umbrella to keep us from getting fined and put in jail, literally put in jail for making claims, medical claims. We can't do it. So that is, uh, that's, that's why I wanted to cover that. I wanted to show you how to get around it. That's a big pitfall if you're in the medical space or in the healing space, anything, even chiropractors, you know. Even coaches. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be careful with your claims. So, all right. <clears throat> Anything else? Anything else before we wrap up here? I think that was good. I, did you guys like that? Me breaking that thing down for you and showing you like every piece of the puzzle and. Yeah, that was awesome. Very helpful. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Thank you very much. I, I happen to be one of those guys in the health field, and I know exactly what you're talking about. You get the alphabet soup after you, and you're done. Yep. Yeah, you do not want to do that. <laughs> but there's also where there's a will, there's a way. So I just showed you the way. These guys have figured it out. So it's pretty cool. So, all right. Hey, well, I'm glad you guys you know did get something out of that i know it took some time to listen to that and have me break it down so that was good. Hey, i took some notes i'll send them to you email yeah yeah just email them over i'd love to put them up in the, in the area. okay cool so shelly yeah you good have a stuff, question man. Uh, yeah, a comment and a question. Thank you. I enjoyed that. I'm in the hill field too. And um, yeah, you can get shut down pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I enjoyed it. And uh, part of me uh, could feel the, oh yeah, what's the scientific proof that it helps this and that? So I, <laughs> I think I know too much. So I'm a little <laughs> skeptic about all the claims, but uh, but I understand the concept and and I did write down a lot of really good tips for myself. So my question first, or my comment first is uh, chat GPT, which I've been using all week. Phenomenal. Um, even from the benefits, explain the benefits, explain the disadvantages, what hurts the most when your client has this, this, and that. So it's really helped me out in, um, in several areas. So thank you for that. And um, my question is that um, one of my colleagues who runs marketing course um, said to me the other day that um, my posts that I was using on Facebook that I shouldn't have any links in my message box, that Facebook doesn't like that, that they, it won't get out to as many people. And I said, well, you're kidding. Like, I've never, I never heard that before. And um, so I just wanted to get your feedback on that. Um, is it yeah, true? That that is definitely true. Facebook likes to keep everybody inside their community. So if you're running posts that have even like links that you can't click on, but just able to type it in, they don't like that. So okay. they, they might, they probably won't ban it or, or like, you know, delete it, but they just won't show it to people like what you said. Yeah, they, so I, I was just wondering, very, yeah, it's interesting. Now, some of my, uh, colleagues will share my post to their community but when you share that particular post without the communications attached to them or the first comment it doesn't get to there when they share it, the links don't get to where they need to go yeah. so um is there a way around that um yeah on facebook i'm not actually a facebook expert either. there's probably guys that know a lot more about running facebook ads and stuff than me but one thing I, I can tell you is some of the guys that I know that, that work on Facebook a lot, what they found was if they did their opt-in in Facebook and didn't take you to a landing page, Facebook sent them a lot more traffic and they were a lot more effective doing it that way, generating their leads actually inside the Facebook community. So I don't yeah. know how they did it. I can't tell you like, you know, here's the steps yeah. to set that up. But uh, that worked a lot better for them. They got a lot more. So, 
So you mean like doing a, a particular post or an ad, I'll write most of our posts are ads. Um, yes. So with no links anywhere and Facebook likes that better. Yeah. So you're so talking you about Facebook do, community. I'm not sure yeah. what you mean by Facebook community. Well, in yeah, in inside Facebook, that's the Facebook. Okay. Anything to okay. do inside their walls, it's like a walled garden. So okay. when you're setting up your, your ads, what you can do is you can say the purpose of this ad is to generate leads. And then Facebook will give you a way to to get people to opt in. They'll, they'll create an opt-in form for you. Rather than you sending them through a link over to your landing page, now they're outside the walled garden. They don't want to send people out there. Okay. And so that last little tip, and it is about Facebook again. Um, so I was told also not that it's really not very beneficial to uh, bump a po or post to um, bump the post with the paid ad um, once it's been sent. Um, rather than do an ad with them from scratch, as opposed to one that's already been sent out. Have, do you know anything about that? That's probably from a cost perspective. It's cheaper for you to bump your posts to people that you haven't advertised to. Because if you've okay. advertised to them, you're paying to do that. So yeah. if you're paying to bump that, you've already paid for it. So you're just, you're wasting money. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you. It's just a different target audience. And, and when you're bumping your post, you're bumping something that's already being seen by your existing audience. When you're advertising, you're tapping into an untouched audience that you don't have access to. Right. Oh, then that's probably why when I bump my post and, you know, you change where you want your post to go to, what categories. Mm -hmm. um, well, then I would do it all and save it and it would they would just send it to whoever anyways. None of my choices stuck. <laughs> so my ads went to real estate agent and mortgage brokers and oh, people I don't that aren't on my list. I, I, I would not refer to the people at Facebook as the most honest and trustworthy group of people I've ever. Yeah, <laughs> well, that happened three times. So I think it's just a, a automatic default for them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Live and learn. Cards. The picture was like <laughs> cards with like numbers written on them. It said like clone. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we've been at it for two hours here. We'll go ahead and wrap up for this week. But thank you guys all for coming on and uh, enduring listening to that grueling thirty-minute uh, commercial. But I think it was important that I was able to break that down for you and and like you know get you to see how engineered that was and all the pieces that put it together. And it was a great I, example, John. Yeah, and the, and the fact that you can all do it yourself. So, yeah. All right, guys, well, have a great week. Stuff. We Thanks, John. Talk to you next week. Same bat channel. Thank you. Same bat time. <laughs> <laughs>